everybody, welcome back. So today we are finally going back to the barn for a little while. The uh, garage door finally showed up. Uh, it is early December. Uh, I believe I ordered this door somewhere around late August, early September. Um, I don't remember the exact date, but it's been, it's been long enough. So we'll go through um, getting this door installed today and uh, kind of, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll also probably take a look at, uh, I know electricians have been out here, got some of the uh, updates, boilers up and running, uh, the foam got finished, so we'll probably try to do a little overview of that, but uh, mainly probably just work on the garage door today, get that installed. Um, the only thing left after that, for the most part, is getting the floor sealed, uh, and then we need to get the door in so we can to do that and get some material moved out because um, Matt has filled up the barn uh, and we need to have a clean floor to do that so let's get out there take a look at it and uh, we'll go from there all right I just about got ready the first panel to drop in here got it all prepped got our stiffener our top hinges on the top got our cable in place and our four rollers on this bottom panel. Next thing we'll do is we'll spin this around, stack it into place, and then we can put our rails on the on that. All right. So the way um, I usually do these doors is I will get go ahead and get that first panel, just lay that up there, and then I'll come back and uh, after we got it prepped, and I will put the two vertical rails on either side. I'll get those leveled in, and then uh, first of all, I got to make sure my bottom panel is flat, uh, level, and then I'll uh, just temporary the two sides. And then when we assemble the panels, uh, I leave the hinge off of one side. Uh, we'll drop a panel in, and then uh, put the hinge on the other side, connect it so the uh, panels hold it, and or the actually the rail hold it in place until the point that. Uh, we can get it uh, more secure, so but keeps it safe, keeps it in place, and uh, and away we go. All right, first four panels are up. We've got our stiffeners in, and we've got two panels left. And then we can start putting up the uh, upper track.
No, we just we'll roll just tip it into place. Back toward bring your towards you back away from the there you go. He's gonna come back. There you go. Oh you're in now. Tweed me a little bit. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So we've got the door basically set. We've got our cables in. We do not have the tensioning on the torsion springs yet, which we're going to do here shortly. We're going to mark those so we know how much we're turning them. But that portion's done. The other portion we still have to do is we've got to hang this and uh, get, get some two bys to, to hang that. But otherwise, it's starting to look like a door. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get that upper track in. And uh, we just got, um, weren't sure where everything was going to be, so we just got some uh, ratchet straps just holding it temporarily until we start getting it put into place. And then... Uh, to hang it and then we'll build some brackets um, because we're in the middle of the uh, rafter base so we'll build a couple of two bys and hold it up uh, and then we'll measure um, parallel off the outside walls in order to uh, straighten up and then we'll run the door up and make sure that it tracks where we want it to and uh, then we'll secure it down. All right, so this, where I'm tightening up the, the springs on here, I'm just doing a quarter at a time, it's counting it up. I've already got it partially tensioned up, and you can kind of see those, there's a white line, those are marks. Uh, what I do is I start and I mark uh, a straight line across the top on both, uh, there's two springs until, and then I can, uh, at one point I'm, I count across here so I can verify that uh, I don't miscount and uh, so I have even tension on both springs. Being that I can do this, it's we're getting close. Turns or 
I see 18 marks. There's a quarter. There's a half. Three quarters. Say that I'm not nervous would be an understatement. <laughs> you like stand next to a bomb? Kind of, it, you know. It, it, you know, there's times that it wouldn't have never, it never bothered me. <laughs> it a lot of it used to bother me. And then you grew up and you realized. Do one on the other side. Who's already there? Yay! All right, so there's a the door. Hang in. What do you think, Matt? That's a lot of door up there. It's a lot. It's a lot of door. When you, you get underneath it, it's like, ugh. Yeah. Uh. I don't know where I stand here. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot, it is. So Matt's gonna pull down the, the foam here and then uh, I think next week sometime we're gonna go ahead and get the, the floor get sealed. Um, and the other thing I was gonna look at, make my way through the, the maze back here. It is less. Um, so what we did, is we've got a 200 amp panel in here and then they ran service wire. Uh, Matt dug a trench and ran service wire. So this will be one of two panels that'll go in eventually. Uh, so we've got semi-permanent power in here at least to get it going. So we've got a couple hundred amps in here and you can start running some of this stuff. So here we go. All right, till next time. <laughs>